Hey gang, today we're gonna to continue looking at some more angle relationships using the terms we discussed yesterday. All right, so given the diagram below, complete the following questions. What kind of angles are angle CFD and angle DFE? So first we gotta find those. So CFD is this angle right here. It's C to F to D. And DFE, you don't have to draw these in like I am, just pay attention to them and so you can figure out how to do these. DFE would be D to F to E this way. So if we're looking at those two angles, the only thing that I can tell is that they share that green blue line. Remember, sharing a line means that they are adjacent angles. Those two angles together do not add up to 90 or 180. So adjacent is the only word I can use to describe them. Okay, what kind of angles are A, F, B, and D, F, E? So now again, we have A to F to B, that's this one here. And then D, F, E is D to F to E is that one there. So here we can see they share a common vertex. There are angles on opposite sides of that vertex. Therefore, they are vertical angles. Three, what kind of angles are BFC and CFE? Well, BFC is B to F to C here. And CFE is C to F to E here. So they share that common side there, which means they are adjacent. And if we put the green and blue line together from B to E, that forms a straight line. So that means they are also supplementary. Remember, supplementary means that they add up to 180 degrees and form a straight line. Then lastly, what kind of angles are BFC and CFD? Well, BFC, again, is B to F to C, this one here. And CFD is C to F to D here. So again, they share a common side, but now they also form a right angle. So we can say that they are adjacent and complementary. So now five says, if CFD is 35 degrees, find BFC and AFC. So again, CFD is 35. So CFD, C to F to D is this one right here. That's 35 degrees. They want us to find BFC. So BFC is this one here. And we just talked about those two. Those two together form a right angle. So they have to add up to 90. So let's do 90 minus 35. And that gives us 55 degrees. And then we also want to find AFC, which is this one here, A to F to C. And if we put the red and green together, those two would be supplementary because it would make a straight line. And again, supplementary means they add up to 180. So we could do 180 minus 35. which gives us 145 degrees for that entire angle there, okay? So this is tricky, you really have to take your time because there are so many things that are overlapping, be really careful. But the main goal is to be able to point out and know when to use 180 and 90 to add or sub to subtract from an angle so that you get the other angle measures. All right, let's take a look at what else we have in store. You're going to try 6 through 10 on your own. Okay, then on the back, now it says find all the missing angles in the given diagram. So in the front, we labeled the angles with the types they are and then found some missing ones. Now we have to find all the missing ones. So here we have a whole bunch of angles. Now remember, the easiest type of angle to find is a vertical angle because those are congruent. So this 30 
has to be the same as this because they are on opposite sides of the vertex. Okay, and then this here, whoops, this is 30. Then this here has to be the same as this because they're on opposite sides of the vertex. So, so this one is 120. These two together have to also be 120. If this one is 60, 60 and 60 make the 120. So that would be 60. All right, so now we can also keep in mind that this is a straight line going straight across. So we have 30 and 120. We need to figure out what missing angle we have. So we have 120 plus 30 makes 150. Then we do 180 minus 150, which brings us to 30 as well. So this has to also be 30, and this is also 30. And now we've found all the missing angles. Okay, number 12. Again, we have to keep in mind vertical angles being congruent. So here's our vertex, and this is 22 degrees, so this is also 22 degrees. Okay, and then. This angle here is 158, so that means this angle here should also be 158. Now, I think that's a 60 there. If it's not a 60, change it to a 60, and we'll go from that. So we have to do 158 minus 60 to get that O. All right, so we bring down our 8, and 15 minus 6 is 9, so this would be 98 degrees. All right, so again, a lot of playing with numbers, keeping in mind what vertical, supplementary, complementary all wind up giving us in order to make sure we understand what the angle measures need to be. You're going to try 13 through 14 also on your own, and I will come help you out and make sure you're on the right track.